wasn't raining in Wimberley, and all my neighbors started calling me, telling me they were getting reverse 911 calls to let them know a flood was imminent. But they had no idea when it was coming or the magnitude of it. So the actual flood didn't start happening until 11.45 at night. Most people just went to bed thinking, okay, so the river will come up like it has before. It goes down fast and then it'll be okay. Eight of my neighbors were swept away in their house. I just don't think they were aware how high, or no one was, how high a wall of water was coming down. And by the time they had started their cars to get ready to get out, then the wall of water came and the steps of their house broke off and they couldn't get out. My garage swept away with my art studio in it and my dark room. And all of my art was destroyed, negatives. Everything it takes to make anything was destroyed. I have a gopher tortoise I've had for 41 years. I had him since an egg. He was inside my house during the flood. I had a whole team of friends that came to help find Daryl. It took us five hours of carefully walking through my house and picking up things. Things were upside down, turned over, furniture was rearranged, the fridge was in the floor. I was really afraid he had been crushed to death. Then after about five hours, I hear a big cheer go up inside my house. I'm outside and uh, they found Daryl under a pile of my black and white photographs. So he didn't get the silt and mud all over him and smother. And uh, when they pulled him out and passed him out the window to me, we were all just so excited to find him. And he was virtually clean. It was too weird. I wished I would have had a little more time to prepare, but at that moment when I could and should have been working for this art show, this was the only time I had help coming to my house to help me restore it. I'd rented a storage unit. I'd work in a storage unit in the afternoon. And then at night, I would work on a table in my destroyed house. So I worked from, you know, to the time I fell out of bed at six in the morning till I fell back in it at 11 at night. So I brought what I could. Painting I taught myself, but I was always good with uh, blending and mixing colors. When I saw that big 64 Crayola box that they made, that was the only thing I begged my mother for. I went to a rural high school and they didn't think an art teacher was important at all. And I was always drawn to fabric and textiles and color and patterns just naturally. And when I started working, I just gravitated to putting all kinds of colors together. Someone told me after the flood, they go, guy, you work on water images and seashells. And they said, well, you brought an ocean to Wimberley, but that was kind of hard to hear. I still do old school film, black and white. I print in a wet dark room. I make my black and whites on a special matte surface paper. Then I oil paint on the surface of the photos. But this is the technique they used before color photos or color film were invented. I've kind of like painted for uh, 30 years, so Everything in my brain just makes me pick up paint and patterns and colors. So, yeah, I'll probably be doing this until I and Daryl go to the nursing home. <laughs>